King of the Road. It's the 190th episode of the King of the Road Show, and I'm your host, Jim King of the Road. In case you haven't heard, I recently joined the star-studded local lineup of the all-new AM 1300 KSET, the talk of Southeast Texas. Listen for my entertainment announcements and commentaries on AM 1300 or at kscetlive.com. In this episode, we're recapping our recent trip to Europe with visits to Florence, Italy, and Lugano, Switzerland. During this program, we're finishing our European series by exploring Florence some more. And once again, these segments are sponsored by my favorite Italian restaurant outside of Italy, Carabas Italian Grill in Beaumont. Carabas makes all of their meals from scratch and serves up the most authentic Italian cuisine in the area. They go the extra mile and put the quality and freshness of their ingredients over the cost of business. There's no corner cutting at Carabas Italian Grill. Again, they're located at 1550 IH10 South in Beaumont and are open seven days a week. Carabas prides themselves in not only having traditional Italian food, but they also have many delicious grilled items cooked over a wood-burning grill with oak and pecan. Cruise into Carabas Italian Grill in Beaumont soon and tell them King of the Road sent you. Trays and seat backs in the upper position. Store your carry-ons and join me as we fly back to beautiful Florence, Italy. I've stated this before, but it's worth repeating. Italians and Texans really do have much in common. We're both outwardly friendly and hospitable, and we love our friends, family, and, of course, great food and celebrations. Texas and Italy also have many carnivores among their populaces, fond of dining on thick, juicy steaks every now and then. Well, I'm pleased to report that I finally tried the famous Florentine beefsteak, and it easily lived up to all the hype that we'd been hearing during our recent adventures in Italy, a.k.a. the Big Boot. While in Florence, we stumbled upon the fabulous Uffizi restaurant, located a few steps from the exit of the world-famous Uffizi Art Gallery. One moment, we were gazing upon priceless works of Rembrandt, Michelangelo, and Botticelli, and the next, we were savoring meat masterpieces, Florence's legendary beefsteak. The preparation of the steak is very simple. The secret lies in selecting the best steak possible. Bistecca alla Fiorentina is made from a very thick porterhouse steak, which is similar to a T-bone steak with more tenderloin along one side of the T. Preferably, the meat should be aged for two or three weeks, and the porterhouse is only seasoned after the cooking. It's rubbed with a mixture of anchovy, rosemary, and sea salt. If it's done right, it's absolutely delicious. As you can see from these pictures. Oh, and I need to mention that we were joined by my mother, Dr. Martha J. King, and Tish, the restaurant's owner. The weather in the Lone Star State is also very similar to Italy's, and our warm climates make it ideal for outdoor markets. There's nothing like shopping in the open air on a beautiful sunny day. Of course, here in southeast Texas, we enjoy that monthly outdoor bargain hunting extravaganza known as Larry's Old Time Trade Days in Winnie. In Italy, most towns have an outdoor market, and many of the larger cities have numerous out-of-door stores. I tell you, these are real centers of activity here in uh, Italy. People love their markets. And they def they've got everything here, fresh fruits and vegetables, clothing. You can even find, well, underwear, wines, cheeses. Anything you want is here. And now we are in uh, Florence's San Ambrosia market. The smells are just tremendous, all the fresh fruits and vegetables. And the sounds of all the, uh, the Italian. I just love to hear people speak Italian even though I can't understand a lot of it. It's almost like birds chirping. How you doing? We got a guy that speaks English over here. Let's go talk. Let's go talk to him. It's one of the uh, most popular markets here yeah. in uh, Florence. In Florence, it's here. Yeah. You can find anything here. No. Not anything. Not anything. Underwear. Yeah, underwear. <laughs> underwear. <laughs> Shirts, clothing, lots of uh, fresh yeah. vegetables. Yeah, fresh vegetables. In inside they have um, a market. Uh, yeah, beef, cheese. And milk fish. and the fish. You can have lunch too. Yeah. If you want to, yes. yes. It's possible to eat some lunch. Okay. Grazie. Buongiorno. Ciao. Buona giornata. Nice to meet you. Bye. Buongiorno. Buona sera. And kefir. Kefir. Hope you've enjoyed King of the Road's European Adventure Series that we've been airing the last few weeks with visits to Florence, Italy and Lugano, Switzerland. King. Before we knew it, it was time to return home to Texas. First leg of our travels back home was our flight from Florence to Frankfurt, Germany. That's always my favorite flight of the trip, because it's short, lasting only an hour and a half, and because we fly over the majestic Italian Alps. As I mentioned before, Frankfurt was my birthplace. My family was living in Stuttgart, Germany at the time. About a year after my birth, we moved to Italy and came to the U.S. when I was five. 
My parents were U.S. citizens who chose to live in Europe to further my father's art career. Anyway, after going through security and boarding our long flight from Frankfurt to Houston, Texas, we waited and waited and waited some more for the wings to be de-iced due to the snow and freezing temperatures in Frankfurt. After getting held up in Frankfurt for two extra hours, I needed a drink. Why don't we make that two drinks? After a few more beverages, a couple of meals, and about 12 hours of flying, we were back home in Houston. Once again, we rode back to Beaumont in style, in a limo. This is what I'm talking about. I'm really king of the road now. This is a stretch excursion limo. What a way to ride back to Beaumont after spending 12 days in Italy in Switzerland. Oh, I gotta thank my uh, lovely assistant, Debbie Grenantz, for securing this limo. Stretch excursion limo. Wow! No Southeast Texas Festival would be complete without my old friend, Rudy Tootie, present Rudy. I just got back from Italy, so I've been working on my R's. It's the King of the Road Show. Coming up next, we'll cruise to the South Texas State Fair at Ford Park in Beaumont.